former LSU offensive coordinator, national champion, Steve Insminger. How are you, Steve? I'm doing fine. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey. Steve, Steve, I can tell you what. Uh, right now, the Saints are looking for an offensive coordinator. Uh, I'm ready to hire you because I, I know you know how to call plays. Everybody gives Joe Brady a bunch of credit. Joe Brady was helping you. Slinger, come you on. had the wrong agent. C- come hey, on. Hey, would have been the guy <laughs> to put I, I, all I, the I, butter I, on the I, bread, I, Mike, Slinger. Mike, what's an agent? I don't know where a damn agent is. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm telling you, I, I give uh, Steve Insming a lot of credit. LSU winning that national championship. There's an art to calling plays, and there's nothing wrong with having help. That's why you have an offensive staff. And I think Joe Brady got too much credit compared to what you brought to the table. And I'm, and that's my opinion. I think I know a lot about football and what it comes about. And I was kind of joking, but Slinger, give us the moment you said, "Man, Joe's the guy, uh, and, and he's special." And for me. It was the Texas game. What was it, third and 18 yeah. or something? And, and you saw the hemorrhaging on defense now. You, you know, and somebody's got to uh, you know, put a stitch in, and he hung in there and took a shot in the mouth, and he hits Justin Jefferson. And people say uh, Jefferson isn't fast. All I know is he, he outrun all them Texas defensive backs into the end zone. <laughs> but to me, that was the moment I said, man, he had some good moments as a junior, but that play – told me that guy is special. I'm, I'm going to give you two examples, Mike. Uh, number one, during our off season, or it might have been in the summer, I'm not sure, we, or it might have been right after fourth quarter and everything else, it was a Thursday, and Joe was breaking down the offense, and uh, he just told the offense, said, look, I'm coming up here Saturday morning at 11 o'clock, and I'm throwing. Didn't tell anybody they had to be there, didn't, didn't invite anybody and everything else. I showed up Saturday morning, sat in my office, looked out the window, our whole offense is there. Whoa. I mean, I, was, I mean, our office line was here doing drills. You know, I was like, uh, yeah, this guy's special. But go, going back to that, uh, that Texas game, and you're right. You know, it, it goes back to, uh, you know, in the past on third and 18 and you're up and uh, you punt the football, you run it, and you punt the football and, hey, hey defense, take care of it. But I just remember uh, talking to Coach O on the phone and he said, what do you think? And, uh, I said, hey, we've we, we got to score points. I said, hey, we, we hadn't stopped them a whole lot in the second half. we got to score points. And, and we, called, we called a play that we probably called eight times in that game, uh, which was a lot of, a lot of goal routes, a lot of over routes and everything. But it was all man zone reads and everything else. And uh, the only thing I did, I said, hey, I know he's going to bless me. Uh, we went to six-man protection for the first time that night. And Clyde picked up that backer who just got a piece of Joe, and Joe made the throw. And I, I remember watching film with Joe. And uh, and uh, on that Sunday, I was like, that's the hell of a throw. He said, I'll be honest, Coach, that's the best throw I've ever made in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, on Joe Burrow, one of the things that he's been remarkably adept at, among many things, but even going back to LSU, is climbing up in the pocket, still staying alive, creating, avoiding sacks, and he's done it this year. Heck, he was sacked nine times by the Titans, and they still won. I guess my question is, is that something that, I know it could be taught, but to do it as well as he does and keep your eyes downfield, how hard is that? How difficult is that? That 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 I'll be honest, that's on him. I know we we taught all the time. Uh, hey, we wanted our pocket to be seven and a half yards deep. We didn't want to be nine, put the pressure on the tackle or anything else, uh, and, and we didn't want to be too short because it push up the middle. But we taught him. Hey, we we, we started at six yards. We take a three step drop. We get back to seven and a half, and then he read it out. But the the beauty of him, you watch him still right now. His eyes never leave downfield. And and if something's not there, then he might drop his eyes and start escaping. But Joe, Joe's, you know, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to this game. I think Joe, uh, he has it all. and he, he finds a way to win, whether it's uh, scrambling and, and, and throwing the football, whether it's scrambling and running to get a first down, whether it's uh, making the big throw. Uh, he, he has it all right now, and, uh, and I'm not surprised with it. I mean, the guy has studied football. Uh, heck, I was only with him two years, and he studied he studied it every day, and uh, and he see how people are trying to pressure him. You know, we we had some games like Auburn and, and Georgia where they ended up running a total different defense, and we practiced all week, and we had to make some adjustments. But heck, as it was going, you know, if they rush three or whatever, he he'd take a breath and buy some time and just keep looking downfield. He might move to the pocket and everything else, and he find somebody. That that's what he does, and look, that's what he did the last game uh, two weeks ago.